Hello! I'm back with possibly the most upset bloke on earth right now. Yeah, we're watching World Strictest Parents today, and it just reminds me of all the times my daddy beats me up. Oh, Hi. this is really weird. <laughs> What, 15 seconds into the video, and Alex is just claiming that him and his dad. No, not my dad. <laughs> my daddy. I, I hate this so much. Why is it like World War II? <laughs> you know like when you play Call of Duty World at War and it drops you into like yeah. Japan? That's what it's like. <laughs> Is it this is the same intro as <laughs> Call of Duty World of War? That bodes well for the parenting tactics. No, I haven't woken up in a minute. No, I haven't. Brother, on Xbox, Mike. You're bloody tired. Why are you tired? Because you stayed out the night before last. You went out last night, bloody drinking. That is why you're tired. Are they strict? I don't know if these are the strict ones. I think these are the shit ones. Uh, Wait, they send them off to like be really parents. Yeah, they send them off to strict parents. It's like wife swap, but parents. I think I'm a druggie. My dad thinks I'm a waster, thinks I'm going to get pregnant. We've tried absolutely everything with Bex. All different kinds of grounding. All types of drugs. We've given her heroin, cocaine. We're doing an impression of her dad. We've tried absolutely <laughs> everything with Bex. All different... This is when we find out he's got some form. <laughs> like we can't oh, no, we don't laugh. We don't laugh. <laughs> oh, God, imagine if he did. <laughs> imagine if he was disabled. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of my fan base is disabled, so I would never do that. Well, no, explain why they're your fan base. Bex and boys, she's a dog on eight. Well, my head is so nice. She love you. I have loads of boy mates. I shag most of them. <laughs> Huge red flag when you meet any woman and they go, I've got loads of boy mates, just really get on with the women I know. She's got 11 above and she's gone, and I shag them all. They're all like that. Bloody women. To her parents' dismay, her partying lost Bex her place at college and her job at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Never gonna get sorry, that back. Sorry. I'm gonna get in so much trouble for that. I don't want the every day's accusations. I didn't realise you could get fired from Mackey. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realise I had to stand it. <laughs> Permanently banned from the premises of Ronald McDonald's play area. Well, that would be a very different reasoning, I feel. I've got banned for one of those ones. I can imagine you could. Oh, I talk about it. It's ongoing court case. To get up and go to work. Or go to college. Well, she can't do any of that now. What are you? Oh, I get up and go to work, I go to college. Yeah, you, you've been you've kicked out of both of Oh. I just drink and shag then. That's my life, man. Drink shag and, and go to college. Oh. What? No, you go to college and shag. <laughs> Completely and utterly lost. She is an alien. I reckon you should have teed up with that one. She's an alien and it cuts the bulbs in. <laughs> All these famous alien films. Set in Bolton. It was big words at the start, like a Marvel film. Bolton. If E.T. was set in Bolton, he would have been in Bolton for maybe four minutes before a bunch of teenagers were smashing Stop. those out. <laughs> Stopping to death. Just curb stomped E.T. It wouldn't have been a film, it would have been a TikTok. You see something weird, you kill it. Kill it, ask questions later. That's the rule, man. Cheslin spends a lot of time doing his, uh... He used to spend longer. That's 2016, Alex. Yeah, he used to be fair, he's back. That is what your wall looks like as well. Laden in selfies of yourself. Looking at the camera That's like. weird, isn't it? Imagine your mum be like, Oh, do you want me to get you a canvas for your wall or something? Don't worry, mum, I got this sorted. Just Photo shoot. of yourself. Chesden came out to his mum when he was 13. Oh, he's gay. It don't bother me in being gay at all. But it's, it's behaving like a tart. What? Wait, what? what? He's behaving like a tart. What, because he's gay? I don't think it was the gay thing that made him behave like a tart. He just is a bit of a tart. What's that say? Sex at any time. Can I get one of those for the house as well? well not if it's a general health rule, no. <laughs> Guys! No, not again! The side says so! We all came back here and we got really drunk and ended up having sex with each other and we filmed it on um, my camera on my karaoke machine. <laughs> That's how I started my YouTube channel. It's always good to see uh, someone who's passionate about what they do. A uh, young budding YouTuber. Although, to be fair, I don't have a problem with this because uh, he's going to age for the quality on the wall, so that's clearly something he cares about, my chemical romance. Yeah, just above Shag. He really fights for equality. Failing that. Shag? shag? Chesden's mum. Bloody hell, he's tall. Oh my god, I know he's got a small house. Mum! <sighs> yeah, I know you complain about hearing me shag all the time. It's because of my legs sticking through the door as I'm doing it. Three years ago, I had a heart attack. I couldn't um, get stressed. <laughs> So I, I let things go. Well, that's a fair reason. The other ones have just been like, oh, she's off the rails. Oh, there's there's nothing we could do. They're shagging and drinking. And she's gone, I'm going to die. Do you reckon that was when he came out? Mum, I'm gay. <laughs> we don't do anything. Very lazy. <laughs> Is he homeless in his own house? Yeah, what's going what's, on? What's that? That TV falls off that. You've got no fucking legs, mate. 
Both families have decided to send their troubled teens away to spend eight days in the American South with parents who demand obedience. I'm sorry, the gay one's not done anything wrong. The only thing we know about him is that he's gay. And that's why he's been shipped off to America. Yeah, exactly, you need to snap it out of him. No, he's... <laughs> no, I think the reasoning for him is because he's just shagging everything that walks. Doesn't give a shit what his mum says, even though she's about to die. Bye, Bex. With a bit of luck, she'll come back. Our old Bex. With a bit of luck, she'll come back. If we get her back, that's a plus. Yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? We all match the British teens will be flying 4,200 miles to Atlanta, Georgia. Many of the city's population are devout Christians. Oh, maybe so... don't send him off there. Oh, don't, don't send the gay man to the devout Christians of America. The producers have looked at him and gone, he needs Jesus. When, when, when did this show come out? Between 2008 and 2011. Oh, so back when homophobia was rampant. Peak homophobia. Yeah. Oh yeah. David is a Baptist preacher. What is wrong with you, mommy? Ah! Yeah, he's dead. The gay boy's dead. He's gonna die. This is the episode where they kill a man. Wanda Kimbrough demands that her children treat her like a queen. Make sure you get the, all of the dishes washed and that they're washed well. I'm not just the queen, I'm the homework queen. Do not come back until you have checked your answers. Is that what a queen does? That's just a teacher, it's not a homework queen. Hey, well, at least she's helping her son get educated by instilling <coughs> the fear of God into him at an early age. And he looks buzzing about it. We don't believe in smoking, we don't believe in drinking, we don't believe in using profanity, and just things of that nature that so many people in society think are no big deal. God, say it. Say gay people, say you don't believe in gay people. Say it. Say it! Hi! Hello! <laughs> How are you? Okay. I'm Chaz. God save this man! Strike him down! They seem to be getting along well at the moment from the five seconds we had before your outburst. Really? Do both of you do you smoke? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we don't no. do cigarettes. We no, don't, we don't do, do any cigarettes. smoking at all. On the ground. I'll get you some, some gum. It's only, Chef. <laughs> it's only, only eight Chef, I... They haven't even made it in a house and they're already pissing them off. Yeah, this isn't a good start. He's going to be burned by the stake by the end of the episode. Chase you, but you're going to need more than this rain to put out the fire if you like that cigarette. Oh, oh, oh. I was just already heated up. That was a hell of a line, by the way. That was, mate, he's got them like, locked and loaded, ready to go. If somebody like said that to me, I'd be, I'd just be impressed. Oh, that yeah. would be your last last cigarette. Your last cigarette. That's an empty pot, by the way. Okay. And if you got more, they're going to be empty by the time you leave. <laughs> she just pulled it out of her mouth. And then gone, that's what we do in America. They are strict parents. Fair enough. Yeah, they're on it, man. It does what it says on the tube. This is the room of angels. So when you walked in the door, there was an angel assigned to you. That's what I'm going to miss when I move out. My room of angels in my house. Yeah, hard to get one of those to come with you, really. That sort of coax them out with various... Mars bars. Oh, yeah, that's what angels love. They love tucking down on a Mars bar. Well, in yeah. America, yeah. pretty boy may mean okay. something slightly different <laughs> than it does in the UK. Uh, what does pretty boy mean in America? Pretty boy in America means that... Um, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty boy means that you are gay. A homosexual. The way that they couldn't say the word homosexual does not bode well that they've got a homosexual living with them. It's child abuse, but it was aired on British TV. <laughs> I like they're like, we really need to sort this guy out. We are sending him into homophobic infested. Quick, quick, get him into a family homophobes. Uh, to put it bluntly. Yeah, I would am. That, would that be you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to like bomb in your house or anything. <laughs> in the room of the angels. In the room of the angels, George. You can't bum in the room of the angels. I don't want to bum in your house. <laughs> it's a good disclaimer to have, to be fair. I always get all the gay people to sign a waiver when they come through my door. No bumming. Oh, no, <laughs> We're not concerned about that. We're not concerned about you doing anything that you don't have permission to do. I think in fairness, in, in fairness to the homophobe, I think it's not because he's gay that they don't want the sex. It's sex because is just not they allowed. just don't want it's sex. Terrible, but that yeah. sex is even worse, like, because the whole house has to be burned down. Find a new place. New room get, of angels. get a new angel room. Yeah. It's, it's a whole hassle. The Kimbros call a meeting. Every civilised society, there are rules. No gay people! They have a home rules contract. Wait, is that it's actually like, you like fully, it? fully written out contract for rules of your house. If you receive no less than a B plus at all assignments, then you get ground. What? I'd be in the mud. We're gonna give you the home rules contract for the Kimbrough family. 
Tell you what, though. Say we want to They know it's part. They got the Game solo cups. Pops. Yeah, why are they doing that as solo cups? That seems really broke. <laughs> they didn't realise that it was World's Strictest Parents filming day. You'd just woken up from like this frat party. Oh, fuck, guys. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, we're gonna have to use the solo cups. The Kimbrough family is highly intelligent and only uses language that illustrates our intelligence. Would you please move the clipboard? Are they, like, entering into a cult? Well, that's religion for you. And that's where we're going to end it. <laughs> I mean, they are the world's strictest parents, I've heard. Yeah, no, that would make sense. I'll just go fuck myself. There is no smoking. There is no drinking. All of that is, is strictly prohibited. What about the solo cups, man? There's no point in no drinking you got a solo cup. You know, cock teas? Why'd you get the solo cups out there? What are those drinks that Americans smash? White Claws. White Claws, yeah. You just got smart off the ice. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Oh hey, my God. Yo. We encourage every family member to foster a personal relationship with God. Hey, God, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. How are you, bro? What are you up to? You watch the, watch the ball game this weekend? Wow, is this you and God? Uh, I know, you and God got it on lockdown, man. Yeah, personal relationship, man. Cool. Me and God like that. What if you form such an in-depth personal relationship where you become like lovers? I think that's a bit too personal for God, at least. Well, it wasn't with Mary, so... And you fuck the shit out of her. Be... Warmed. For their eight day stay, Chesden and Bex. That's really not that long, to be fair. Eight days is quite a long time. You can to... speed for eight days pretty quickly. I did that stint in prison once. Eight years. Okay, is this about the McDonald's playground thing again? Yeah, eight whole years. What, old? No, eight whole years in prison. Okay. Feel bad. Feels no. They're actually really sharp. It's like they think we're really naughty and stuff. <laughs> So when are they gonna find that? Also, can they just cause like a fire? They're obviously gonna get found out. They've been there like an hour and they've already had two cigarettes that they're not allowed. They've got to survive eight days. I don't know where my phone is. Why do we smell smoke? My breath. No. And I've been pretty cool, calm, and collected. But you really don't want to make me angry. It will release the Hulk in a minute. They're I mean, gonna hang the gay boy. They were instant. Probably did help that they had a camera crew follow them out there. Yeah, that doesn't really yeah, it's make not exactly you kind sneaky, of... is it? So why do we smell smoke? Well, it might be because I've opened my suitcase, because half the stuff in there is like... Oh, okay. Smoked. You sure? Well, yeah. I believe it because I think that you're being untruthful. And I don't believe the crap for one moment that you opened your bag and that much smoke came out of your bag. Well, that's all I packed. I didn't bring clothes. I just brought smoke. Just brought a bag of smoke, man. I promise. I swear to God, I brought a bag of smoke. <laughs> Why don't you believe about that? That's so believable. We don't believe it. I was cooking a barbecue. I was doing a barbecue, man, for the family. It was going to be a nice thing. It was a surprise. Privacy is a privilege in the Kimbrough household. It's like packing this smoke away again. Trying to get it all back in. <laughs> Bloody nightmare packing all this smoke. Bloody hell, that's a completely different story. <laughs> Bloody nightmare packing all this smoke. Why do you need a condom? Well, if you like go out and then you have sex. So you're sexually active? Yeah. Are you married? No. <laughs> she looked married? The thing is, the irony about that is that normally when you get married, you stop being sexually active. You let him go for a walk by himself? He was gone before I knew it. I heard the door close and then I went. Hey, hey, Chaz. Yes. I'm actually shirking. I'm not angry. I'm still glad I came because it's experience and I'll learn from it. I would argue that you aren't learning from it. Third cigarette after they've been told both other times not to do it. Anything the opposite of learning. And he's still gay. Exactly. When's that gonna change? But the moment, all I've learned is that black Christians are insane. I don't think you really needed that extra adjective. Oh, uh, he's wasn't. lost was... me. I was backing him. I was backing oh. him all the way. I was thinking, oh, my, they're being homophobic. Fair enough, mate. Suddenly you brought out the black card. But not in Nando's, so it's not okay. <laughs> How did you like the cigarette? What? You had a light on you? No. How did you like the cigarette? He's learning, you prayed to God. Please God, light this cigarette for me. Just... Oh our Lord, oh my. Like this bag. What do you mean by that? Let me have one. I'm not, I'm, I'm not giving you one. You're gonna give me the matches? No. Yes, you are. I'm not. Okay, I'm not gonna ask you again. You're in my house. We don't have matches in my house. Why? What about the birthday? The most sad they birthday cake. They're just bringing cake. out candles that aren't lit. Dad, why are we lighting the candles? There are no matches in my, my house. house. Do you reckon he says that when they're out of food and stuff? Like, he opens the fridge and just goes, There is no milk in my house. You're in my house. You are a minor. You're not grown. And in my house, you're in my house. You're not in the UK. You're in my home. Right, quick, quick. Where, whereabouts are they? In his home? I think they could be in his house. Right, I won't put them in your house then. I'm sorry? I, I won't didn't understand put the matches that. in your house. 
You don't need matches in my house. Give them up. Do you really think no one's gonna have a liar in America? <laughs> that is a good point, to be fair. Fire exists. <laughs> it's on the stove. It, it feels like this is the end of the trip, and yet it's the first day. <laughs> I can't believe that. It was, oh. I'm gonna be, I'm actually just gonna die. Why is it so weird to me for him just drinking something that's not alcohol out of one of those cups? I don't know, just buy like glasses or something. Yeah, like why are they using those things? There are no glasses in my house. <laughs> for the Kimbros, it's essential that their new children make a good impression on the congregation. Just remember that you're representing us and remember that our roles there, we're not just parishioners, we are the head. That's the pastor over there. And there's the pizza over there. There's some rice over there. <laughs> that's the pasta. And I'm the rice. Make sure that's known. Don't be calling anybody else the pasta. <laughs> They've never been to church. So this is going to be a great experience. What the hell is that, mate? DJ Hard. He's actually uh, goes to nightclubs. Oh, DJ no, Hard! <laughs> he just spins that beat. DJ Hard! The hardest tunes in all of Atlanta! DJ Hard! The youngest! <laughs> the most fire DJ all around! I'll see you guys in about 20 minutes. Okay? Have you guys heard about uh, Children of Israel? Have you read the Bible before? <laughs> what? Did he just auction something off? Let's go, guys. Two hundred fifty pounds. I believe you heard of the Shemit Rabbah Rabbah Bible. I have not heard of that before. Don't just know. You guys know what an idol is? What? You know what an idol is? Like American Idol. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one, mate. <laughs> you guys know what American Idol is? <laughs> that was what he thought they just asked. Now, oh, I want to tell you. You want to pay attention because when we go upstairs, we stand in front of everybody and we review our lesson. So, everybody says one thing about the lesson. Oh my god, over the religious texts. She just written bored shitless on the Bible. That's mental. She's gone to church and earned herself an asbo. We almost done. All right, we got about 10 more minutes, okay? Grab it, you can grab that School down, on mom. Jeffrey? I just got up and left. You got 10 more minutes, cool. Yeah, I'm off. See ya, lunch break. I remember like going to church for like school and that and I just remember being like so fucking bored. No, but I would never have imagined to like just get up and run. Get run from Jesus. <laughs> run, 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 run. Up down the hill, up the hill. In the, in the trees, in the trees. Oh, <sighs> this God shit. Now we're in a much more comfortable position. In the rain. <laughs> Hang on, they don't have matches in their house. Hey, I don't know how they've done it. They don't have matches in America. The crew have definitely given them a match. The okay. crew are out there going, oh. Go, oh, you want, yeah, <laughs> go on, mate. Can't believe I'm still in the fucking forest in the rain, trying to have a fag with a Bible on my head. It's ridiculous. Do you reckon God will be happy with what's happened with his Bible there? That is what Bibles are made for. Though. Nice hat. Shelter. You disobeyed my order. I took you to the classroom and that's where I expected you to stay. It is boring. I don't care if it's boring. You don't get to choose what you do. Well, we did, didn't we? This is so me. This would so be me. Like, this would be me right now. Right. This is how so I would be. You don't get to do that. Well, we did. That's a good point. This is a thing. This is why I don't think I could be a parent, because as soon as they said that, I'd be like, Good life, yeah, actually, life. to be fair. Taking any longer, you were only there for five minutes. It's a Romero, my hers, my. You <laughs> just completely ignores what she says. He said he wants to learn as well. They are far from it. That's I feel just... like a parent right now. You're far from it, boy. This is what I'd be doing though. I'd just be making their life hell. So, oh, Alex, we get it. You, you're an absolute bloody legend. You hoodlum. Guilt is always an indication. Yes, sir. That God is working on the inside of you. Yes, Result. This is not going to go well. After that, don't put them into a crowded space where they've got a crowd to act up to. Chaz and Bex are made to sit through the remaining two hours of the service. They look so out of place. Look at him sat there, little emo boy. He looks so wrong. Sin is sin. Yeah. Wrong is wrong. Ain't no big sin and no little sin. All Sin is, sin. is he saying like murder is on the same level as having a like, smoke a cigarette? I would argue that perhaps there is some sort of spectrum to sin. You know, a little slip up. Oh, I said, I said the shit word. Oh, I committed genocide. Well, they're all as bad as each other, eh? Like, I can't change being gay, can't change who I am. Plus, I think the temptation of sex and drinking is just too much, really. They're very sheltered. 
Like, and they don't understand. I literally doubt half of the people in there have ever been laid. <laughs> I love that. What he's taken from that, he's just left church and just virgins. gone. Virgins. Bunch of virgins, mate. And I think we'll probably leave that there for this episode. If you want to see more of this, give a little like. Yeah, show we'll us, do part two, Show mate. us you want more. Comment, subscribe, subscribe to this little man. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be at some point in your lifetime. Wow, that was a long outro. <laughs> Yeah, it was like I was at one of those ceremonies those people were doing. Well, I was still a virgin. <laughs>